Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, marital missioner, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 37 to 41. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. As human beings, rituals are an integral part to our existence and provides rhythm, balance, and meaning to our experiences. However, like many, if not all things in life, in excess, it can make our lives too mechanical and obsessive leading to dehumanizing stress and myopic ways of experiencing life, the opposite intended purpose of ritual. Similar to Jesus' comment about the Sabbath in the Gospels, that is, Sabbath was made for human beings and not human beings for the Sabbath. As such, rituals are there in service to people and not the other way around. A good test to see if an observance is beneficial or not is whether or not we see it as something that makes us seem more valuable or worthy than the person next to us. In other words, if it breeds a holier-than-thou attitude, then something is certainly amiss. For example, joining special interest clubs that makes one feel superior than the other does more to stroke one's ego than broadening one's mind and heart. And at having our egos inflated might give the illusion of purpose and belonging. But this is only a time bomb waiting to go off, and sooner or later we will need to face reality. The level of pain and hardship depends on the length of time our ego balloon has been inflated. This was also true for the Pharisees who believed that because they observed the law scrupulously, dotted every I and crossed every T, that they were somehow better than those around them, and failed to recognize that due to God's love and grace, which the law is solely based on, each human being possesses an innate quality that is neither superior or inferior to anyone else. So let us not make the same mistakes and not let our arrogance and misplaced sense of worth blind us from God's love and grace that is always unfolding from others despite their background. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and worthy day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.